hello everyone okay today we are going to design a game button okay so let us start with a basic rectangular shape okay so I'm creating a rectangle here just like this okay I'm gonna change this color to white and I don't want the stroke so disable the stroke all right so this is the shape that I want for our button so then I need a border for this rectangular shape so to do this I will duplicate this layer so press ctrl J to duplicate this layer okay I'm gonna rename this to border okay so I will hide this bottom layer okay, so this is the border layer what I'm gonna do is uh, yeah first of all I will tr uh, make another copy of this border okay press ctrl J okay, then select this layer and press ctrl T and the scale it a little bit okay so now we have two shapes here select these two border layers and then press ctrl E to merge them and if you press A and C you can see now we have two rectangles here so now we have to select only the um, outer rectangle and transform it in such a way that it looks like a border oh maybe like this okay this is good after this come to this uh, top icon little icon you can see here select this and you can choose this option exclude overlapping shapes now you'll get this border along okay so now enable this rectangle so let us differentiate these colors here yes. so we have two different shapes now let us start coloring these uh, shapes so first double click this rectangle layer so in this layer style option first of all we will change this color to gradient okay select this gradient overlay and I've already selected my own colors from here you can choose whatever color you want okay but I'll keep this orangey yellow shading all right okay then then what I'm gonna do is we need some 3d look that's why we're gonna use this bevel and emboss option okay so in here I'm selecting this chisel hot technique so initially it will be smooth you have to change this to chisel hard okay so that you can see here this kind of 3d bevel to our shape you can adjust this uh, size and all as well as the depth okay and if you don't want this kind of sharp edges you can soften these edges uh, using these uh, properties here so let me keep it two okay so this is fine now I'm gonna hit OK um, then for our border as well I'm going to use layer styles so you can double click this then again select the gradient overlay uh, this time I want some other color okay you can select your own colors I'm going to drop this maybe a little darker that's fine I can reverse this this is fine then select this bevel and emboss option uh, I'm gonna reduce the depth in here not too much and decrease the size no soft options okay then I'm gonna check this texture option here see some kind of texture is uh, happening inside our border if you select this texture and see you can uh, select your own 
pattern from here I'm gonna use some random texture okay and you can adjust the depth in here hit ok so come to this rectangle layer and I uh, now I'm going to apply inner shadow okay select inner shadow so I'm gonna use this uh, color so increase the opacity just play with these settings okay, this these are fun to play mm, like so and one more sh uh, inner shadow you can select this plus second you'll get another shadow so select this uh, shadow and now I'm going to increase the size a little bit you can see the difference I don't want this too much opacity that's fine so that's it this is our button already our button is looking cool right now then I need a stroke for our border so double click this border layer and apply stroke from here so I need a gradient stroke uh, that to outside you select the outside option and full type to gradient so I'm going to increase the size of the stroke to 4 see here okay. okay so that's fine so it's okay I'm going to change the style to radial sorry reflected you like this one more color like orange like this you can change the angle as well so I want the highlights of the corners so I'm changing the angle accordingly okay so that's fine hit ok now so now we're going to add highlight to our button so to do that let us uh, select our brush okay then I'm adding a new layer here at the top okay, I'm using this brown brush with hardness 100 percentage okay then just add some uh, brush stroke like this okay then Control select this rectangular layer, you'll get the selection. Then press this uh, mask icon. So it is now mask. I'm going to change this opacity to 50% and change this mode to screen. So let us zoom this. With this uh, part selected, you can start pressing at the edges because uh, we want only smooth highlight. Uh, near the edges so with the opacity say 30 percentage I'm going to start brushing okay. so make sure you have selected black color okay. let's see that's fine this is good and let us add some text to our button Scaling it a little bit, and one point is that you don't have to work too much with the button text because uh, in games they may directly apply these kind of text in the game engine itself. So we don't have to worry about the text design for these buttons. So you can simply change the color and add some stroke. That's it. That will work. So we're gonna do the same thing.
and if you want uh, we can add drop shadow as well so let me first select all these things and group this okay press ctrl G to go and double click this now add drop shadow and that's fine so this is our button so hope you have learned something new in this tutorial thank you for watching see you in the next video